Hey guys, Vandersen and Veronica here. Uh, well, before I start this vlog, I just want to inform you guys that uh, recently I created a Vandersen Facebook page so that I can properly, you know, connect with you guys through my regular updates. Uh, so I suggest you please go ahead and like that page, and the link of the page will be uh, in the description down below. So uh, recently I got my bike serviced. Well, they changed the spark plug, oil filter, air filter. Uh, inline filter and uh, engine oil of course as per the KTM guidelines. Now the engine oil used for the Duke and the RC390 is uh, 10W50 fully synthetic engine oil which is uh, uh, which is 1500ml and uh, you know for the Duke and RC200 uh, they use uh, 20W50. So maybe I can share some information regarding this topic. So uh, which engine oil should be used synthetic or conventional? Let's get started. Well, what is the difference between fully synthetic and conventional oil? Uh, while I was using my previous bike, I never used fully synthetic oil. There are the reasons for that. Let's check out the basic difference between these two types of engine oils. So uh, synthetic oil is better than conventional oil when it comes to the form and function of the oil. Uh, the conventional oil could never stand up really to the, to the synthetic oil when it comes to ability of handling extreme high temperatures without breaking down. But a synthetic oil uh, change can cost over twice to thrice as much of conventional oil. So it will cost you really really high guys but uh, the conventional oils are evils cause they are eventually made out of petroleum but hey. Synthetic oils are more evil because they are made up of chemicals. Those are no less harmful to the environment. But there, are, there is a difference here guys. Synthetics can last as much as 3 times longer than the conventional oil. Which means that you could be dumping less synthetic oil per year than the conventional one. So ultimately more or less you would be spending the same amount of money because you would be changing conventional oil in say uh, 3500 kilometers and you would be changing synthetic oil um, in like uh, 7500 kilometers. So the money going outwards from your pocket will almost be the same. So uh, now let's talk technical shall we? Which one is better for your bike? Uh, well today's technology synthetic oil composition is much cleaner because it is derived in the laboratory rather than nature and it doesn't vaporize out uh, that quickly in the exhaust. Synthetic oils have also uh, been shown to produce less resistance in the engine and therefore offer more horsepower and overall efficiency of the engine. This added horsepower in return means that the engine will be able to perform at the same level as before. However, in case of conventional oil there is more vaporization of the oil with the, within the engine which might create engine braking and wear and tear of the piston and engine parts. Uh, well it all depends on your riding style of course. Remember guys that uh, the long and continuous rides along a straight road doesn't really heat up your engine more. It is the daily commute along the traffic and rash driving that causes heating. If you want to be on the safer side you can follow the manufacturer's recommendation as far as oil is concerned. But remember. It's not necessary that your bike needs a synthetic oil. Bikes which have a high compression ratio and gets heated up fast because of the shorter movement of the piston necessarily need synthetic oil. Uh, for the bikes generally below 200cc uh, doesn't really need synthetic oil as per the manufacturer's recommendation uh, because they don't really heat up so much and the engine size is smaller. But again, if you are a power or unfortunately a rash rider then uh, there is no harm switching to uh, synthetic oil as it uh, always uh, better than the conventional oil. Both are dangerous of course for the environment but uh, uh, we don't really have any classified alternatives so we need to use them. But synthetic oils leave a shorter carbon footprint than the conventional oil which is definite. Uh, there is one more thing which might be confusing. Uh, you might be thinking which number of engine oil should be, uh, should be used. Uh, for example 10W50 or 20W50 or uh, you know 5W20 it's really confusing if you don't have the correct knowledge about this well the best way to explain this uh, is to have a look at your owner's manual there would be a couple of pages that address oil at different weights uh, the 1040 or the 1050 is the oil that is designed 
टू प्रोटेक्ट योर कोल्ड टेम्परेचर इंजिन दैन द ट्वेंटी फिफ्टी सो इफ यू आर लिविंग एट अ प्लेस वेर टेम्परेचर इज लो देन ट्वेंटी फिफ्टी वुड बी वेरी वेरी थिक वेल यू स्टार्ट योर कोल्ड इंजिन इट माइंड नॉट जस्ट स्टार्ट क्विकली दे यूज फाइव टेन और टेन फोर्टी इन सम व्हीकल जस्ट टू अलाउ फॉर द बेट बेटर लुब्रिकेशन वेन इट इज़ कोल्ड नाउ नाउ जस्ट रिवर्स द कंडीशन गाइज इफ द पर्सन हु इज लिविंग इन डेजर्ट डज नॉट वॉन्ट फाइव टेन राइट बिकॉज दे वुड बी मोर इनक्लाइन टूवर्ड्स द टेन फिफ्टी और द ट्वेंटी फिफ्टी एज इट इज़ हॉट सो इन शॉर्ट इन अ सिटी लाइक मुंबई एंड अ बाइक लाइक ड्यूब थ्री नाइन्टी इन मुंबई विल नीड टेन फिफ्टी फुल सिंथेटिक ऑयल मेक सेंस नाउ and yes it is always recommended to change the engine oil up to 3500 to 4000 km when it's conventional oil and 7000 to 7500 km when it is fully synthetic oil uh, depending on your bike of course this reading might change a bit depending on the manufacturer's recommendation so i suggest you refer the owner's manual before acting so now the next time when you go to a local shop to get the engine oil you should be clear as to what your bike needs Well uh, that's all for this vlog guys if you have any questions suggestions or anything else please uh, do comment down there um, below and uh, like the video if you it fit was uh, really helpful and if you want me to cover anything else through my vlogs you can tell me that in the comment section below also so that's it i will see you in the next vlog till then keep riding and as always thanks for watching bye